Now, if God did raise Jesus from the dead, what was he trying to tell us? I think the gospel is the good news that God has provided a way to come into your life forever. Not as a ticket, okay, but into a relationship. And he has provided the way to that relationship through the person and work of Jesus Christ. Not only the sacrifice for sins, but the provision of his very own spirit coming into your life so that you can relate to God on a healthy level and overcome the sinfulness that is inherent in you. And the good news is, is that God is committed to that relationship, so committed to that relationship that he sent his only son to die that it might take place. And the only requirement that exists, it's a serious requirement, the only requirement is that you believe that he's done that for you and in faith you ask for that relationship through Jesus Christ. It's that simple and that demanding because once God comes into your life, he's in it to do a marvelous work, a work that grounds you in a relationship with God that will never end. And so the search for Jesus brings us to this point. What have we discovered? So if a person is going to say, Jesus is not going to be important in my life, I'm not going to believe in him, then they're going to have to say that for other reasons besides historical. The evidence is there, the sources are there, the picture is clear and coherent, and in my uh, academic opinion, the picture is quite compelling. Therefore, the historian, whether that historian be a secularist, a Muslim, a Christian, whatever, the historian has to say, how do we explain the fact that this movement spread like wildfire with Jesus as the Messiah, even though Jesus had been crucified? And the answer has to be, it can only be because he was raised from the dead. The claim of the resurrection of Jesus alone makes him unique among religious figures of the world. The fact that we have rather good evidence for it makes it more than unique, it makes it astonishing.